What's good in the deep fried neighborhood? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're gonna explore deep fried foods in all of their many oily forms. And a portion of today's episode is sponsored by ShipStation, but more on that later. Uh huh. Huh. We are tasting deep fried foods today and we're guessing what type of oils they're deep fried in. But what are you doing right now? I'm practicing dodging grease pops. Well, all the food's already been fried, so that's unnecessary. But if you feel like it, you can keep doing it. How important is your choice of oil when it comes to your deep fried delicacies? Well, these daddies want to know. It's time for what oil was used to deep fry these cuisines? Peanut corn or kerosene? David Hill taught me how to do that. Yeah. All right, in each round, we're gonna taste one deep fried dish prepared in four different oils, and Stevie's gonna tell us which one we have to pick out of the crowd. Now, to help ourselves out a bit, uh, we might be unfamiliar with some of these oils, so we have a one-time lifeline where we can taste a few drops of the oil that we're gonna be trying to be identifying. Is that at the top gonna of a round? help? I don't know, maybe. Uh, in the end, the loser will get burned in the kitchen by Mythical Chef Josh and Good Mythical More. Out of the intro and into the fryer we go! It's mm. fried chicken time, boys. Yes, it is. You're yeah. going to be looking for the fried chicken that has been fried in corn oil. Corn oil? Corn oil. Corn oil. Corn See, oil. I feel like peanut oil would be the best. That's what I fry my chicken in. If they're, I know you do. And then I'm a thigh, thigh man. Okay. So I'm, I'll go with the thigh every time. I think I'm gonna, even I though I typically these. am a breast man, I'm gonna go with the leg um, for ease of consumption. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. I mean, fried chicken is just good, right? But, you taste any corn? There's a weirdness to the oil that I think if I was just eating fried chicken somewhere, I might lean over and be like, hey, what they fry this in? Is there a weirdness to the oil? It's hard for me to tell, I guess, until I taste something else. It has a very, I don't know. It's not bad, but it's just strange. Wow. That's much lighter. Totally different. Hmm, tastier. That's good, it's definitely better. Doesn't give me any pause. I'm not leaning over and saying anything. Except, man, this is it's good. just good chicken. This is good chicken. It is good chicken. Mm-hmm. And I usually don't bite my thighs like this. Yeah, don't bite your thighs. Mm. I do not like this one. This is some good fried chicken in general. You know how to fry some chicken. If there's one thing the Mythical Kitchen knows what to do, it's fried chicken. Oh, well y'all know more than that, but yeah, that is a, that is a. You don't like that? I don't like that oil. I like it. Why don't you like it? You think it's. It's, I, I'm tasting way more oil. Where's the part that I bite? Hmm. Don't, don't, I don't love this one. I don't particularly like this one either. Well, I don't know why you didn't like this one. I'm gonna have to try. Nicole, what's the like, Typical, is there a typical fried chicken oil? I think that the default is or should be peanut oil, but people fry chicken in a bunch of different things. There's like no one right way to do it. I just think, I personally think peanut oil is like, I like this the one. End all be all. Um, the best. So, are you voting for it? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Mm hmm. I think this is corn oil, but I think this. Is oh, I forgot. I thought I was voting for peanut oil. Oh, oh yep. You already voted. I was out. No. I think this is I'm peanut confused. oil. Ugh, I forgot it was corn. Okay, you're voting for corn, but you're you're. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with my answer because. Okay, stick with your answer because that's corn, but you thought it was a peanut, but okay. Well, all right, so, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Corn is the best. Wow. Yeah, so corn oil is on two. Well, Link didn't say what his favorite was. This one. Oh, you did. Okay, so yeah, you both like corn oil the best. And peanut oil was the one Link that you disliked. The last one was peanut what? oil. Yeah. And then Dang. the other ones, the first one's canola oil, and then the third one is beef tallow. The beef tallow was too much, it was <clears throat> overpowering. A beef tallow, I just don't know if that's a good fried chicken thing. I, you cook a burger in some beef tallow now, like fry a burger up in some beef tallow. I stand behind my, the choice that I made by accident. It is good, it's great. Corn oil for your chicken needs. It's time. For fries. Yeah, it is. Okay. And you know what? What oil are we looking for? They're oh. looking for peanut oil. Peanut. Okay, that's what you thought you found last I time. I thought peanut was the bomb. 
Not a fan of that first one. Yeah, me neither. Nothing to, nothing to just ooze about. Ooze any praise. Solid. Much better. Much better. You know, the, the best thing that ever happened to us in college, and just so you know, we were virgins when we graduated from college. Oh. You know what it was? I think I know where you're going with this. You Greg, can't... our other roommate, came back from home one weekend with a fry daddy. <laughs> and we just all gathered around it. Which oil did he use? The he whole might... weekend. That's pretty tasty. What? It's a... Is it? <clears throat> yeah, that's tasty, man. That's a tasty, man. I'm a hungry man, that's a tasty fry. It's rich. It's very rich. It's real rich. What are these? Cold. Hmm. See, now I don't know about these. That's really good. These are really good. These are getting worse, and these are really bad. Right? That's bad. Don't ever fry your fries in whatever this is. We're choosing to hate this. <laughs> Okay, you think you know where the peanut oil is? No. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Ha! Oh! It's either that one or this one. Because they're the both French good. The French fries, deep fried, and peanut oil are on plate number two. Oh, congratulations, Rhett. These what? are these are good. What's these the are crap? bad. So the ones that you really hated are actually deep fried in lard. Plate yeah. number one is lard. And bad then idea. Three is cottonseed oil, and cotton then the seed. last one is clarified butter. Oh, the clarified butter is good. Something about the cottonseed oil worked for me. I don't know, but yeah, it's rich. This, this has a, a classic peanut oil taste. I love to use the peanut oil. Mm. Mm. It's expensive though. It's tough to get a big jar of it. Now, before we get to tasting these egg rolls, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by ShipStation, the leading order management and shipping software on the internet. If you sell stuff online and ship it to people like us, this is for you. First off, way to go. Your company sells stuff online and I just love to buy it. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part is definitely when you ship it and I get it and I have it and I enjoy it and I use it, way to go. Yeah. Way to go. Way to go. ShipStation helps purchases actually get to your customers by combining order processing, inventory management, shipping label creation, and customer communication all into one easy to use interface. And not to toot our own horns, but between this show, multiple podcasts, special events, and caring for our hair, preparation has been key to our success. That sounded like a lot of horn tooting, but it is true. One of the first things we learned about running a bit successful business online is that you need to be prepared for growth before it happens. So when things started taking off from Mythical, we weren't scrambling to keep up with the growth, we were ready for it. Um, now you're the one tooting. And that's why ShipStation is so great. It sets you up for growth by directly integrating with every shopping cart and storefront so your products are easier to find, easier to manage, and easier to get into the hands of enthusiastic online shoppers, AKA everybody. Whether you're starting small or scaling up, ShipStation can help you save time and maximize your sales with minimal effort. And they give you access to the same discounts that Fortune 500 companies get. So no matter the size of your business, you get those discounts. So ship more and grow more with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash GMM and sign up for a free 60 day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com slash GMM. Thanks again to ShipStation for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Episode. Egg rolls, what are we looking for? You are looking for the clarified butter fried egg rolls. That sounds round. good. Now we have a lifeline, you can taste it ahead of time. You wanna taste butter? I think I know what butter tastes like though. <laughs> and I think the end of the egg roll is gonna give us more indication of the oil. Oh, that's a good egg roll. Oh man. But are you picking up on the oil? No. Because I actually think, the first one I taste never gives me anything. It's always the second one. I'm like, oh, there's a difference. Mm-hmm. Which is why most people don't do what we're doing and they never realize what they're missing. You need to be eating two, at least two egg rolls every meal. It's fried in different oils, of course. Right. That is also a good egg roll. No discernible difference in my mind. Mm-mm, I know. Mm-mm. I'm gonna choose this one. Why'd you choose that one? It called out to you? What's that? What's that? This part of the egg roll. Oh. 
Hmm. Okay. I think this one's better. This is the first distinct difference for me. It's more of a, it's got like kind of a, an egg roll taste. A dense, a dense crustiness. A dense crustiness is what I was thinking. I can, I, I'm, Least favorite. I have not tasted butter in any of these. Um, Maybe this one. I like these two the best. Yeah, you're right, this one's not as good. So, it's easiest to find out what's the worst. This one, every round. We know what's the worst. I mean, you think that's the worst, I also agree. I know. These are the best. <clears throat> okay. Which okay, clarified butter. butter. Three, two, one. I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm just guessing at this I've point. I've tasted a butter taste on this one. Not that one. The egg rolls deep fried in clarified butter are on plate number Three. Yeah. Oh, you I, dirty dog. I take. I take. I didn't like it because I like the oils. These go better with like an Asian flavor, and I, maybe I'm wrong. But what do we got over here? So the first one is corn oil. That worked. And then the second one is duck fat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That totally makes sense. Duck fat. That. That. This one really, really works. Now that I know it, that it's duck fat. And the one that you did not like was cottonseed oil. Yeah. Hey. But in the last round, cottonseed was okay. But it was fries. <laughs> Who knew? Huh? Huh? Well, thanks for donut. giving us one donut, guys. Oh. Well, by this time in the episode, we figured maybe we should start uh... wishboning it. Yeah. Uh. Well, that's okay. not bad. So you I mean, won. Is, I mean, you know, I eat more than you. Okay, so you're gonna be looking for the duck fat donut this time. See, I'm afraid of, of ducks in foods. Were you attacked by one as a child? I fed a lot of them breads when I was little. And you feel like they haven't reciprocated? Well, I just felt like I bonded with them. But the last round, I wasn't I wasn't jolted by the, um, well, the thing duck you, fat egg roll. The thing you don't know is that all duck fat that's used in cooking is from liposuction of ducks. Liposuction? Lipo, well, that's what they call it when you do it to a duck. It's not liposuction, because then it gets confused with the people. It's liposuction. I never liked the term liposuction anyway, because it, it made me think of the procedure too much. Of course, a section. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. You ever have to see a video of, of uh, uh -uh. for some reason, I, nope, I nope, don't, nope. Who, who made me see a video of that? I don't know, but uh, I cannot unsee it. Well, I can tell you right now, it wasn't me. This right here, that's a perfect donut. Yeah, and it, it tells me that the oils were distracting. This is just what I expect in a donut. And you, know you made I mean? these donuts from like dough? Yeah, from scratch. And wow, nuts? so good. No nuts, just dough. Our little system is working pretty so well. So good. We should make all our big life decisions by pulling on donuts. Uh, oh, no. That is awful. Uh-uh. That's the worst donut I've ever had. Don't do your donuts in this. Mm. Never do this with your donuts. All okay, right, you think you donut. know where the duck fat is? I think so. Yeah. Three, two, one. See, I'm not voting for the best. I got it right this time. This is the best one. Is that, does this that is mean the, I got it this wrong? This is the duck fat. The donuts deep fried in duck fat are on plate number three. What? The ones, the ones that we you loved? thought, yeah, the ones you thought were the best. Gazoinks! <laughs> <laughs> duck fat donuts are the best donuts. Did you I know mean, that? according to you? No, I had no idea. This is exciting for me too. See, now I don't like it anymore. Well, oh, the weird thing is the, you can't the say, not because of you, but just because I know about the ducks involved. The weird, the weird, the weird thing is, is that the one that you hated was clarified butter, the one at the very end. What? Which seems like a weird thing to hate, but yeah. And then the other ones, starting from Rutt's side, canola oil and then peanut oil. Us hating on this was just a commentary on society. I don't know what the commentary is, but I agree. This is deep fried ravioli. It's not just square chicken nuggets? It looks like weird not like nuggets. like a square nugget. How well, often are you eating deep fried ravioli? Uh, this is the first life? time in quite some time. I, th I think it's an abomination. It's, it's definitely at least overkill. Because ravioli is good already. Why would you deep fry ravioli? We, I'm sure it's not gonna be bad. Neither of us have used our lifeline, so oh, we, we should, gotta use we, the we lifeline. We should use it on this. Well, so you're we looking, looking for cottonseed oil, so okay, your so lifeline's to gonna taste, be cottonseed oil. Oh, look at that. You get to taste straight up cottonseed oil. I do not recommend this. Cottonseed oil, I guess the seed comes from the, the oil comes from the... The cotton. The seed of it? The seed of the cotton. Hmm. 
It, it tastes like a food. It, do, it doesn't, it tastes like something that would be used in the manufacturing of like shorts. <laughs> like, like manufacturing, like oiling the zippers? Yeah, the, it's oil, it's zipper oil. It's definitely got a zipper oil taste to it. You but, can squeeze a seed and get an oil out of it. Isn't that wild, man? Well, like, not everybody can. The world we live in. Don't make assumptions, man. I could probably do it, you're right, but. Uh, it's pretty tasteless, odorless, cutlerless. Let's, let's step into these square nuggets. I don't know, I, don't, I just don't know about this. Very cheesy. Cheese ravioli? Of course, four cheese ravioli. I'm gonna There's hide that too one much there. cheese. What? No. Crazy. It's great, but it's too much flavor. You can't taste the oil. Yeah, these things are hmm. not good to me. Hmm. And they're getting worse. That's worse than that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, that's getting so bad. Yeah, that's not good. Don't fry your ravioli in whatever that is. I don't know how much of a service we're performing in terms of what you should do, but I'm feeling like we're pretty good at what you shouldn't do. Maybe it's just a deep fried ravioli is bad. That's also bad, you're right. I mean, have you had some? Stevie? Oh, I didn't know if he was like asking people watching and it was like, you know, know. a rhetorical question type of thing. Uh, no. Where do you get these? Like at a desperate place? They're like, like appetizers maybe in we like fry Italian it, they'll, restaurants. They'll order it. Uh, I like the first one the best. Okay, remember like, you're looking for like a long shot. Cottonseed oil. This one's actually good, and the rest of them are bad. Yeah. Three. This one's okay. Two. One. Yeah, I think because this one was just okay. And I, I disliked it, but it tasted the most like the dropper. Okay, yeah, that lifeline really helped you out because you're correct. Oh, That's good. the cottonseed oil. The only one that you liked <sighs> Just was clarified yep, butter. I yep. knew it. And then clarified peanut butter. oil and lard are the other two. Uh, interestingly, that it didn't work. Lard is the big loser today, along with who? Me? Uh, yeah, you're also the big loser, which means okay. you're going to be burned in the kitchen by mythical chef Josh. I think the bottom line is. It does make a very big difference what oil you fry things in, but you got to experiment and figure out what you like, but just don't think any old oil will do. If you think that, you're wrong. Yeah, and don't hate on ducks, it's not their fault. Yeah, right, they can't help, they just waddle. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I am Mike from St. Paul, Minnesota. This is Lola, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> <laughs> That's a happy dog. Click the top link to watch us compare classic snacks with their new versions in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. We're just testing the echo. We're no. totally fine. There's no, no need for alarm. There's no one here to save us. Help! No! <laughs>